Okay people, what I got here right now, today I'm messing around, this is my my Asus Asus, how do you pronounce it in English, I don't know it's a 22 inch PC screen and it has a problem which is um, you turn it on and like two seconds after it shuts off uh, the blue light remains on the indicator light that it is on but you have no image on screen you get a black screen so I've disassembled the whole thing and this is the board and I've noticed that the board here is a bit dark like if something was too hot and on this side it happens to be one of the transformers for the inverter I actually think this is a problem with the inverters but while inspecting the board, these brown capacitors, there's here one, this this one which is puffed. I don't know if you can see, but it is a bit puffed on the contrary of the others, which are not. This one is puffed. It was here on this place. So I removed it. It's a 1000 UF. 16 volts. I already got here a new one which is also 1000 UF 16 volts which I removed from this old power supply. This is an old power supply. I just pulled this out of there. So I'm gonna set it aside. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the brown one which is puffed with the black one which is which is not puffed and uh, we'll see if it if it works I'm gonna install it the same place I, I pulled the other one because I've been measuring these like they both give the same thing same continuity in the same pins so I'll just replace the capacitor and see if it works. Okay, I got the board, I got the capacitor. This is the place where it was. I'm gonna fit it there. It has a white strap which goes to the white side, which is the negative leg. I'm gonna fit it there. In the same place I pulled the other one out. And uh I'm going to warm this up and solder the thing in place. Okay, I have it more or less in place. Let me get a bit of... This is too big. A bit of solder around it. I got it soldered in place. No, I got it here. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna assemble the thing back together and uh, see whether if it works or not. It looks like it did not work because when I turn it on, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it does the same thing, it turns on, but then it shuts off, so they didn't fix the thing like this. 
Okay everybody, so after testing the, the board with the new capacitor and uh, having no positive results, I've decided to test the four lamps on, the, on my screen. And what I do is, I got here an old laptop screen and this has a lamp and so I have been unplugging each one of the lamps on my 22 inch screen which is, the, which is the one which is broken I've been unplugging one at a time and plugging this one in its place and so when I plug it on the place of this one it still does the same it, it still shuts off the same way these ones it, it, it shuts off the same way but when I plug this one in and unplug this one so I pull this one out and after pulling this one out I plug the one coming from the laptop screen or on a very clear way I, it's like if I'm substituting this lamp and I put a new, a new lamp here as you'll see now I'm, I'm gonna show you with, with the, the old lamp on it, it still shuts off it's it still shuts off. Just check it out. See, you've seen the sign, and then it shut off. But if I unplug this lamp, any one of the others, it's the same. But this one, if I unplug this one and plug it, unplug a new one, which is in this case the one in this screen. All, all of the sudden, I got. I, let me shut it off and turn it on, and it stays on. As you see, it is on. It it is on. See, I got there. Windows. Blah 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 blah. It is on. So like this, what this means is that this lamp is broken. So I have to disassemble the whole thing and see if I can repair this lamp or substitute this for another one, okay? Okay, so right now I'm disassembling the thing to get to the lamp inside. E já ando a pensar como é que vou resolver aquela cena daquele papel na câmera Aqui para fazer aquele do tanque Ok, I've disassembled the whole thing And I got here my lamp These are actually two lamps in one place And here is a problem They are broken They are broken Completely broken, black, like something burned out And this is why it's not working. The thing now is where to find one of these. Alright people, <clears throat> so today I'm gonna be fixing my 22 inch ASUS uh, screen and uh, the CCFL lamps are broken so I bought on AliExpress.com a pack of 10 new lamps and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and replace them and I must say that it was pretty well packed actually it was it was pretty well packed Gotta be very, very careful dealing with them. 
So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got ten. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to desolder. I don't want any solder to go into the wrong place. And so. That one's out. And that one's out as well. Okay. Connections cut shorter. I'm gonna feed the lamp through this rubber padding. trying to align things and I'm trying to do it on camera at the same time so that you can see and I guess that one's done I guess the first one's done on this side so I gotta go for a second one I'm gonna cut it short once again. Cut the connection short. On the other end, same thing. Okay, cut the connection short right now. Let me get this thing on camera. Put it through the rubber pad. No, not sure if you can see. I'm sorry, my hands are ahead of it, but this is. A very hard thing to do, especially uh, and trying to do it the thing on camera doesn't make it any easier actually it makes it a lot more difficult. And try to assemble back the screen. Yes. 
Okay, I've managed to close the thing, I put the back cover, then turn this connector on top of it. And I have to tell that this was for sure the hardest of everything. The hardest part of the whole process was to fit this cover back again. But it is like this. Now I'm going to fit this top cover. Mm -hmm. I guess this goes. This goes here. Okay, I've figured out where it goes. So, I gotta put here these two tiny little, these two tiny little bolts. One here. They don't wanna go now, but. They used to fit in here, so one here, and another one there, then these three will hold this plate in place, one. Okay, you didn't see much of that. I just attached one bolt here, one here, one here, and one here on this side to keep these plates in place. Now I'm going to fit that part. This one, gonna I'm gonna fit that, but before fitting that, I gotta do here. Some, some connections. I gotta, I gotta connect some wires, and I gotta connect on this part. Not sure if you see. I gotta connect this one here inside on this connector. It's tricky without removing this board here. Wires go through here. CCFL lamps in place. Everything in place. Two bolts there for these parts, connect the lamps and check and check if it works. Let's give it a try. Okay, and as you see right now I got it working. Uh, it's making some weird fuzz. I'm gonna try and plug it to another computer because I don't I'm not sure if it's something to do with the graphics board on that one. And I got here a black line. I'm not sure if I damaged it, but all in all, it's working pretty much okay. At least for repairing computers, it will do the job.
Okay, here I got the finished product after the repair and the only thing that bugs me is this black line in the corner not sure why it happened but nevertheless it's working fine